Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to my online lesson on estimation. So estimation questions normally look like the one I have in my example here. They can sometimes be worded questions, the skills are generally just the same. So I'm going to cover one of these examples. So when I do an estimation question, I'm going to round every single number in the calculation to one significant figure. So I'm going to do that rather than rounding to the nearest whole number or to the nearest hundred. Because if you look at the number like I have at the bottom here, if I round that to the nearest whole number, I actually get zero. I can't divide anything by zero. So we have to be consistent with what we round everything to and we round everything to one significant figure. It's important to note here that in the question it will say estimate or calculate a good approximation. So I'm not asked to work this out exactly as this normally appears on a non-calculated paper. So I'm going to start by writing my approximately equal to symbol which looks like this and I'm going to round every number to one significant figure. So 6.8 to one significant figure. Well 6 is the most significant figure there but it's going to round up to 7. Um, in my 191, the 1 here in the hundreds column is the most significant um, figure. But it's going to round up to 200 because of the 9 next to it, the 90 next to it. So that is 200 to one significant figure. And the number on the bottom is probably the trickiest part. The most significant figure I have here is this 5. And because I have a 1 next to it, that's a 1 thousandth, it's going to stay at 5 hundredths. So it's 0 0.05 to one significant figure. This is the part where most people like to make their mistake, because they often round to 0 0.1 or even 1 as a whole number. It's not, it's 0 0.05. So now I've got to work this out. I can work out the first bit, just work out the top. So 7 times 2 is 14. So 7 times 200 is 1400 or 1400. I'm going to keep my bottom number the same. Now, this is a little trickier to work out. There is a little trick I can do, which is if I multiply the top and the bottom by 100 to keep it an equivalent fraction, that'll give me 1, 2, 3, 4... So that'll give me 140,000 on the top of the fraction and on the bottom of the fraction I'll just be left with the number 5. So the final step of my calculation is to do 140,000 divided by 5 and that is 28,000. That's my answer and that is a 4 mark question. Here's one for you to try. Uh, pause the video and then unpause when you're ready to see the work solution. Here's the solution you should have got. Um, so you should have got this exactly. You might have done something slightly different at this stage. You might have been able to work it out straight away. I chose to multiply top and bottom of my fraction by 10 so that it was an easy calculation but this bit here you should have exactly the same as I have and your final answer is 600.